Hey, how's it going, YouTube TGIF? I'm Joshua Deferina. I'm about to make the news a whole lot more interesting for you. But first, in my last video, I asked you, what kind of person is disciplining children? They were not supposed to be disciplined, and this is what you guys said. And today's question of today is, what type of person is disciplined? They were not supposed to be disciplined. So let me get in today's story. Enough all that. Let's talk about... Does disciplining children have to be a crime for the rest of its life? And I'll type yes. Disciplining children will be a crime for the rest of its life, okay? So if parents discipline students and teachers discipline students, and then that means teachers and parents could go to jail and find charges and pay a fine for thousands of dollars to get out of jail. So they will not discipline children again. But they'll teach their children how to do right, okay, by not disciplining them, okay? Okay? I still love God, and I still love Jesus very much. I try to do everything what God wants me to do. So the only way for parents to go to jail for disciplining children is have the government make it in a law. And the government wants to always, and the government needs to always keep a law say, if parents discipline students and teachers discipline stu no if parents discipline children if teachers discipline children then that means teachers and parents could go to jail and find charges and pay a fine to get out of jail for thousands of dollars okay okay so if parents and teachers want to get out of jail so bad they have to pay a fine and find charges paying a fine to get out of jail for thousands of dollars okay and i want you guys to know that um, uh, I am a great guy that loves making videos. And, uh, okay, thank you for knowing this, viewers. So I want you viewers to put me a comment on this video. So if you guys want to connect with me, make sure you connect with me on YouTube, Twitter, and Flickr. So the links will be down below. Three links of those websites will be down below for you to connect with me, viewers. So viewers, I need you to subscribe me, and I need you to leave me comments on every video I make, okay? Okay? So disciplining students and disciplining children has to be a crime for the rest of its life. So I'm making a video right now saying, does disciplining students have, does disciplining children have to be a crime for the rest of its life? And I'll type yes. So children will not do bad stuff. They'll do what God wants them to do, okay? And I'm going to do what God wants me to do, okay, viewers? Okay? I'm not going to talk about my teachers, okay? Okay? Um, so, okay. So, viewers, I need you to know that it's the government's fault in 1964 for refusing to make a law say if parents and teachers discipline students and children. And then that means the cops will arrest parents and teachers and send them to jail and have children live in an independent home doing good stuff on their own, okay? So viewers, I need you to know it's the government's fault for refusing to make a law say if you discipline a student, punish a student, and uh, discipline children and punish children, then that means teachers and parents could go to jail and find charges for it and pay a fine to get out, okay? So it's the government's fault. I'm not going to do anything bad to the government. The government's not going to be hurt at all. I'll let the government stay well. I will not get them hurt at all. So the government's going to look fine and they're going to stay alive. But they're just going to write sentences just so they can think about what they did. Okay? Okay? So viewers, I want to know what you guys think of the story, viewers. What do you guys think about all this? I'm just so dang confused. Okay, so my friend Landon Downsynth is a good YouTube person. So he said, when he made a video today, he said, I'm supposed to be easy on, on Landon Downsynth's new person, that's a lady. And if I'm not, Landon Downsynth would call parents right away. But I'm not going to want that, okay? So viewers, I need you to know, does disappointing students have to be a crime for the rest of its life? And I type, yes, it's going to be a crime. It's just that I don't get what's the big deal. Like, why does it matter? Why should, why does teachers and parents care what children do if they do bad? And I don't know. And that made me get angry, though, because I'm very angry at the government for refusing to. And uh, I don't know. 
And that made me get angry, though, because the government refused to have a law say if parents discipline students and punish no, no, if parents discipline children, punish children, and teachers disciplining students and punishing students, then that means teachers and parents go to jail and find charges to pay a fine and get out of jail. That pissed me off. No, no, no. I'm not going to say the word pissed at all. I'm going to say um, that made me get angry, though, because the government would would have made a law that say if parents discipline children, if teachers discipline students, and then that means parents and teachers go to jail. Then the president was like, guess what? Not going to happen. Vetoed. And that made me kind of mad, you know. For example, Congress presents bills to the president. But the president can choose to sign it making it a law. Or say no and veto it. But Congress can override that veto if two-thirds of the representatives in both houses agree. However, if the Supreme Court decides that the law is unconstitutional, then the law is out of here. So that law so that law cannot do a whole lot without the okay of the other two. And also, now, according to YouTube and Flickr, the government is to make sure they make a law that say if if parents discipline children and teachers discipline students, then that means teachers and parents could go to jail and find charges to pay a fine to get out of jail while children live in an independent home on their own by doing good stuff. And do what God and Jesus wants them to do. And God wants us to always be nice to people. And I want you guys to know that being punished by a parent and punished by a teacher has to be a crime for the rest of its life. And I want you guys to know that I make the rules very much, viewers. So, viewers, I need you to know that disciplining children has to be a crime for the rest of its life. And uh, children can do whatever they want by doing good stuff. And even if they commit a crime, they can still go to juvie. Remember? I never have. So I did not commit any crime. I never have been a juvie and never will. Never been to jail and never will. Never have committed any crimes and never will. What do you guys think about this story, viewers? You know that disciplining children has to be a crime for the rest of its life, viewers. And don't forget to put a comment on this video. Well, anyways, viewers, that's it for this story. That's all the resource I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy that one. And I'll see you all in my next video.